Sean just gave me this bag from GMB Pro. Let's check it out. Check this out. I'm excited. We got a little slip pouch right here. Just some small, like phone or iPad can go into. But the part I'm most excited to look at is this inside part. Oh, solid, bro. That's crazy. It's definitely gonna be solid to travel with and do classes with. Check out the new setup. I got my blow dryer in there, clipper, trimmer, detail clipper. So Sean just gifted me this brand new setup by G and B Pro because bro, I've been on the road with Sean a lot, bro. And I'm used to walking around with this little thing. And every time we get ready to set up and leave a show or class or an event, man, I'm always taking forever to get my, my gear together. Um, I'm always feel like I'm just carrying way too much in my hands. So he reached out to GMB Pro and they hooked your boy up with this little care package box thing, man. So it's almost like a laptop bag. It has a slit right here that you can slide over a carry-on bag like that. And also has this little strap here so you can throw it over your shoulder. It came with this little compartment, but I'm not the biggest fan of these little compartments here. Not the biggest fan. It also has it to where you can use these little dividers, but I usually just like to throw my clippers around, man. I'm not as organized or care about the well-being of my clippers as much as I used to, which is crazy because I used to be just stuck on this aluminum box that I had since barber school, but I've just changed over time. You know, as an artist, you change over time. As a person, you change over time. You know, things just change. The tools you like. I get so many new tools often because literally I was just gifted a pair last night. Like I'm not sponsored by these companies, but some of my friends do have sponsorships and they kind of share those benefits with me. So I constantly get new tools all the time. So it's excited to get this new bag, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm actually going to use this in class today. I'm going to use those new clippers in class today. So I'm going to let you guys know what I think about everything about the efficiency of the bag. And in a separate video, I'm going to give you guys a full detail and breakdown of that new clipper we just got. So stay tuned, guys, bro. I'll see you guys at the class. I'll give you guys a little walk around show you guys the venue. We did do a little pop-up yesterday when we landed from the airport. I'm just to drop some things off. You guys get to see, so let me show you guys. I'm trying to get the lights on. Sean. What's up, bro? Y'all look alike, too. That's crazy. Yo, how do you Kendrick Ross. Bro, these backs and these barbershops are huge. I appreciate y'all bringing my family. Yeah, we got some good seats. Alright, Dre, got the lights on so y'all can see this joint. Now, Appreciate y'all bringing my family. Alright, so we're going to get the lights on so y'all can see this joint now. I saw him here to sing Rihanna super, super loud for want to see. We got 15, we got enough? This is dope, I got a ring light set up this time. Let me see if it works. Turn on the lights and hit up. Uh, oh, got a ring light set up this time. How fortunate. Yes, sir. Look at this lighting setup we got now, bro. This is probably the best lighting setup I've had for a class. This plus that, crazy. It's probably the better lighting setup than I got at that, my actual shop. I just need something. That's a hard For the first time, we trying to do the HDMI cord with the camera instead of using the iPhone this time. Just trying to upgrade the quality. We're gonna be streaming this on a projector that we brought. So hopefully it works, man. I'm super excited just to upgrade the quality because we want to give you guys the best education possible. The big boys. The big boys. <laughs> this just looks so good, bro. I love this little thing. Yeah, hey, would you get that? All right, it's gonna be another packed out house tonight, guys. Another one. Hey, you guys, see people go ahead and start a jalapeno pepper. Starting to file in. Let's go ahead and get this class started. Out of for today's class. <laughs> got the merch set up, got the vest, 245 trucker hats, man, Dial Legend. 
Thick cotton shirts. Well, my boy out here in barber school, bro. In high school, in barber school already. Already tackling, like going for the industry, bro. What's your name, bro? Christopher. That's sick, bro. How long you been in barber school? Only since Bro, that's crazy, bro. And that's what we want for the industry, bro. More younger kids in this generation, bro, to just go for this thing, barbering, bro. When they coming out of high school, we want them to go ahead and be like, you know what? I want to lock in and be a barber and not go against what people tell them, bro, and just break that stigmatism of uh, the old school barber, bro. More the new school, bro. We got these kids excited to attack it, bro. They fun, they energetic, and they ready to take care and take over the industry, bro. I have a parting from this corner here, this recession corner here, and it's pretty much with all the hair again, where the hair wants to fall down. It's actually a half horseshoe, if you're looking at it from just this half here. So nothing crazy, all this is a half horseshoe. Now this other half is just a parting and a section down to this back corner right here. I'm gonna flip it around. So I know you guys can see it on the camera, so I'm gonna flip it around that way so you guys have a better visual. And so essentially all I'm doing is just isolating the hair, the right side of the head, just giving myself my area to work in for the scissor cut. That's it. So I'm gonna just go creating cone length sections throughout here till I can reach this corner here, connecting those transition zones that we created earlier. So I'm gonna do a couple and I'm gonna just walk you guys through how I do it. This is the last section. And here at the top, right around the Prado Ridge area where we set our first transition, I can see my guy here, because it's shorter than these hairs here. And if I ever get lost, I can just say, hey, I remember setting my transition zone around the Prada Ridge. I go to the Prada Ridge there and I find my guy. So I'm just gonna take my guy, make my first cut right underneath my guy and go downward. All right. Next question is, how do you break out of an emotional funk? Like get out of a bad mental space. So this actually just goes back to Bullet number. I like. I like. No, 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 and I like to constantly listen to motivational and like self-help books and audio and podcasts. And I also like to go to a lot of things like classes, shows, and expos to keep my energy high day to day, week to week. That's what kind of keeps, keeps me going. It's, it's a forever revolving circle around those three things. Nice circle, uh, positive affirmations, and uh, just further my everything. education inside my, my niche. So for me, how I deal with it is I realize it's never going away. That you guys realize that at every level, our brains, our minds are so freaking complex. It never goes away. Some of the most famous people that you guys know, some of the people with the greatest, we think have the greatest lives, still go through emotional in their heads. And that's the truth. All you, the one thing that I really like is if you can't stay motivated, stay consistent. Mm. Because when you're out of that mental space, you'll thank yourself for being consistent. We're human. That's it, bro. All right, guys, just wrapped up the class, and now literally about to fly from one city to the next to our class on Amarillo, and we're trying to pack the car right now. Yeah, just all a part of the process.